zero one, which is equal to LC plus the sum from I equals one to D minus one of LJ. So in other words, by using the log likelihood ratio, the operation at the variable is just the sum of the in inbound messages. The operation of the check is more complicated, is, is simpler in the end, but conceptually a little more complicated. This is this can I can only get back to zero if two of these are one. So in other words, um, if none of them are one, uh, if they're all zero, then this is clearly zero mod two. If I have two of them being two, in other words, like x one and x three are one, and x two is zero, then it's zero mod two. So in other words, an even number of these have to be one. <coughs> Excuse me. This constraint means that only an even number of these can be 1. Similarly, if I have x1 hat times x2 hat times x3 hat, so being 1 in this domain is equivalent to being minus 1 in that domain. So the number of minus 1s I can have down here also has to be even. In other words, all of them can be plus 1, 
or an even number can be minus one because the uh, an even power of minus one is equal to plus one. So that's basically these two are equivalent. You can show if you want. Uh, you can rigorously show that using um, using induction. Now. Um, What this also means is that x1 hat times x2 hat times x3 hat, and so on. Uh, if I multiply on both sides by x out, that's what I get. That actually makes sense. If I add on both sides by x out, oh, uh, actually, sorry, what's x hat out squared? must be plus 1 because the only two possible values here are plus 1 or minus 1. So I can take this out. That makes sense because if I look up here, uh, if I add x out on both sides, I get x out over here and 2x out here. 2 times x out mod 2 falls out. Now, what I'm going to do Assuming that the factor graph is cycle free, we're assuming that all of these variables are independent, or all of the messages leading up to them are independent. So, therefore, um, the expected value of x out, x hat out, is equal to the expected value of x1 hat, x2 hat, and so on up to x hat to c minus 1. But because all of these values are independent, this is equal to expected value of x1 hat times the expected value of x2 hat times the expected value of and so on times the expected value of x hat bc minus 1. Why is that important? Well, what's the expected value of x hat? x hat can take two values. It's plus 1 if x is 0, and it's minus 1 if x is 1. So this is equal to plus 1 times p0 plus minus 1 times uh, 1 minus p0. message that's available to us for passing messages in the form of log likelihood ratio, we know that P0 is equal to e to the L divided by 1 plus e to the L. So therefore, 1 minus P0 is equal to um, 1 over 1 plus e to the L. What I have is 1 plus e to the L minus e to the L divided by 1 plus e to the L is 1 over 1 plus e to the L. So therefore, what I get is that this is equal to e to the L minus 1 divided by, well, 1 plus e to the L, so rearrange that, e to the L plus 1. 